Hey guys, here we are, Jasper Active, PowerPoint, Lesson 5. Uh, I failed the quiz real quick because at this point you know how to do that and activate all and we need to start working with pictures. So, here we go. Ooh, downloads. We got some good stuff going on here. Alright, move this over out of the way and start. It says, insert a title only slide before slide 1. Wow, so we're going to do new slide and call it title only. But it went after slide one, so I'm going to move it up in front of slide one just by dragging and dropping. And we're going to title it Biking Tours. And we need to do some quick formatting here. So we're going to go to Quick Styles, and they want us to select the colored fill green accent six. And it's this top one. Then, <clears throat> on the Insert tab, in the Pictures group, you're going to say, From this device. And I'm going to go to Jasper Active, or Documents Jasper Active, Resource Files, and they want us to select one called Biking Tours. And click Insert. Now, it puts it in big. I'm going to resize it by grabbing from the corner and then drag it and stop when it tells me it's about the middle. I resize pictures from the corner because if you do it from the side or the top, it stretches them and makes them look weird. So here we go. Now it says we need to add a new slide. The shortcut, if you're not on the virtual desktop, is Control M as in Moo. If you need to just insert a new title only slide. And for this one, you're going to title it Dublin Tours. And for this one, we're going to insert pictures, this device, and select Dublin. Insert. Resize it. Whoa. Why did it put it there? Control Z. Z. I must have accidentally switched. Let's try that again. So Dublin Tours, insert picture, this device, Dublin, and do it. Okay, now I can resize it. And I believe I'm supposed to send the text on this. So I'm going to click up here in the title, and Control E, as in Edward, is the shortcut to center. I'm going to go back and do it on this. There we go. So uh, now we have Dublin Tours. Um, now we're going to create a new title slide, title only. And for this one, I'm going to do Control E so I don't forget to center and call it San Francisco Tours. And for this one, careful on guessing which picture it's going to be because you go insert pictures, this device, and you're going to actually select the one called Golden Gate Bridge. Hit insert. And resize and center the picture. Right there. So now we've got the San Francisco. Let's do one more new slide, only this time I'm going to go to New slide drop down menu and we're gonna say a totally blank one and don't try and be faster than me right now because for this one we're going to insert pictures this dice TA logo click it but don't insert here we go insert drop down menu notice we have three different options we've always been ignoring so we're gonna select the one that's called insert and link there we go. And now uh, we're going to insert pictures, this device. There's this guy on a bicycle. So you're going to select the bicycle. That one we're not going to link. Resize it. And I like to make them really small because you don't want them blocking the logo. And I'm going to grab this little curly fry and put some angle on him. And move them right about there. So that's what it looks like now. We've inserted the pictures. Next, now it says insert a screenshot. 
So open the Bicycle Tours presentation from the resource folder. So for this one, let's go File, Open, and I think I'll just double click this PC, Bicycle Tours, Jasper Active, Resource Files, and there's Bicycle Tours. So Documents, Jasper Active, Resource Files, Open. It looks like that. Okay, well that's kind of goofy, but um, let's use it. So it says now, go back to your presentation, Bicycle Tour Shapes. Select slide four, with slide four selected, insert a new blank slide, and we're going to do a screenshot or screen clipping. So go to insert, and here we see screenshot. Notice the available windows. Let's click the one with the Bicycle Tours icon. And it looks like that. Now we just inserted a screenshot of a window that we had open. Next, a screen clipping. Select slide four. Um, select slide four and in home tab, insert blank. And this is going to be a screen clipping. So for now, we will go to the insert tab, screenshot, select screen clipping. And now we're going to do just a section of that screen. And notice it's put a picture in, but that is not a table we can edit. It's a screen clipping of the presentation. So uh, I have two PowerPoints open. I need to close the Bicycle Tours presentation. I'm going to just click close down here and go back to Bicycle Tours Shapes. Now we're going to insert a photo album. Insert photo album. New photo album. And it says, well, where do you want to get pictures from? Well, guess where? Click File, Disk, Jasper Active Resource Files. And we are going to select more than one. So you're going to select Biking Tours. I'm holding the Control key down now. Dublin, Golden Gate Bridge, and Tire. And then click Insert. And it says, well, this is what it looks like. Is that what you want? Picture layout fit to slide. Um, let's change it to four slides or four pictures so it will look like that and then click create on slide one change the title from photo album should have photo album and your name change it to biking tours and you can leave the caption um, next let's go to the insert tab on the insert tab photo album notice now we can edit photo album and it brings us back here we're going to make some changes the changes are going to be fast so let's keep up we're going to say captions below all pictures all pictures black and white and we're going to add a new text box so right here i'm going to click the button notice a new text box shows up um, so it happened to go right here. If your text box ended up in a different spot, you can check the text box and move it up or down, but make sure it's in the second position. Then clear the checkbox. And we've decided we want to get rid of the tire picture. So click the tire checkbox and then click remove. Now we're going to change the frame shape to simple frame black and if you click theme there's a whole bunch of different themes I don't care which one you pick if you want to play around you can I'm going to click that one and then say update and see how it looks so biking tours it looks like this now I don't know if I want my text box there we may need to move it but I'm going to change the text right now so it reads 
popular tours. So that makes me feel a little better. However, I want to go back into Edit Photo Album. And I'm going to move that text box to the number one position and see how it looks. That makes a little more sense to me. All right, yours may look different if you chose a different theme, but we're going to call that good. So last thing we need to do is save it. So it says go to File, Save As. And Jasper Active, My Projects, and you're going to call it Photo Album Final, and click Save. Once you've done that, close your photo album, and we're going to stop this video because there's a whole bunch of things left to do and this is a good place to stop. So we just did steps one through four in exercise one on lesson five. I'm gonna stop sharing and start a second video.